Hey guys, so today's newest look is going to be the caterpillar. Okay, so you want to start by putting your primer on your lid and then taking a white and layering it around your eye and bring it probably down to the bridge of your nose towards the middle right down here. Okay, so I'm going to start by lining my eye. Now when I'm done doing the top layer, I'm going to bring a line straight down. Well, not exactly straight, but at an angle. And then I'm gonna curve it down. And now, I'm going to line the bottom of my eye. Not all the way, though. You don't want to go all the way in yet. Like that. And then you should have that. Now I'm going to take this line and I'm going to do one just below it, but a little bit longer. It should be where the indent of your nose is, see right around here. And that one is going to go and it's going to end up meeting this line. Go as close as to your bottom eye as you possibly could. Like that. And then end up meeting this and curving it. See, so you should have something like that. Now, you're gonna form a little one. Don't know why, but this one's my favorite. And just go like, make sure it bends a little bit and forms a curve at the top. And then slowly bring it up, but not too far up like this. and then curve it in. No, mine right now is not, but you want these lines to be somewhat symmetrical to these lines. Mine aren't, but that's because I'm trying to rush. Okay, when you put your primer and foundation and layer of white on, you want to put it over your eyebrow as much as you possibly can so you don't see your eyebrow because what you're going to be doing is you're going to be drawing over it so your Draw eyebrow shouldn't your be eyebrow. visible. Up and arc it and then going to curve it up like that. Then 
go at the beginning and up a little bit where your eyebrow should start and curve that up like that. And then from that one, you should be going into the middle of that line where your eyebrow is and then curve that up and collect it like so. So you should have a little point and this one should end up curving out like that. Take these lines and just put a little bit of a swirl on the ends. And then we're gonna do the circles. I'm gonna put a circle right at the end of this one, a big one. They're like bubbles. And then a little one. But the little one should be covered, colored in completely, whereas the big one has some space for, we're gonna put white there, so. And then one right in the middle of these two lines. And make sure there's room to put white in that one. Like that. Now I'm gonna go over these lines and thicken them and make them thinner with liquid eyeliner. And that way they're darker and they stand out a little bit more. Okay now, so to finish the line work off, we're just going to add some circles up to the top here. A big one should be opened up. And then a few little ones going from biggest to smallest. And then taking these and curving them up in like a vine kind of shape. As big as you want. You could go bigger, you could go smaller, etc. And I'm going to take the bottom line. curve it into this one. What I didn't mention is you want to color this in until it connects to this. Leaving still open space right here.